Hi there everyone, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial video here on the channel. And within this video, we're going to be talking about lore text or adding lore text to custom items in Minecraft. It's actually pretty straightforward. I'm also going to show you how to do the lore text with a custom name, but I'm not going to focus too much on custom names in this video. I've already done a tutorial on that. If you are interested in how to add custom names to items using commands, I'll leave a link to my tutorial as a pinned comment or something like that. But let's get straight to, into this tutorial and have a look at this here. As you can see, I have a lore example diamond right here. And basically the lore text you can add to an item is additional information or additional text that gets displayed under the name of the item. And by default, that is shown as like a as purple text, and like in this case right here. So I'm going to be showing you how to do that. We've got two commands right here. Uh, this first one gives a item to the player directly to the nearest player. And as you can see here, we have Draki's diamond. And this one has also a colored like line of text for the lore text for the item. So as you can see as a shameless little action here, Please like and subscribe. It very much helps me out. <laughs> and then you've got line two and line three and so on. Uh, I think there is a limit to how many lines there are. I forget how many lines, but the, the, you can add a considerable amount of lines to an item. So that's that. And then this second command right here actually generates an item entity that the player can pick up. And this is exactly the same as you can see right there. So this is also a Drakis diamond with the custom law text added. So the reason why I'm doing this tutorial is I've seen a lot of people asking for it in the comments of my videos. And also, um, Minecraft 1.20.5 changed how data is set and stored for items. And this did affect adding law or law text to items. So uh, I'm in Minecraft 1.20.6 and this should work for Minecraft 1.21 as well. And hopefully the syntax of this command will not change in the near future. But uh, yeah, we're actually going to be using the lore data component in this video. So instead of a custom name component, we're using a lore component in order to get this to work. So I'm now going to show you these commands in a text editor so you can see it in more detail. All right, everyone, we're now inside the text editor right here, and these are the two commands we're going through in this video. These commands will be in the description of the video, so you can copy and paste it into your Minecraft and have a look at them. But uh, as I said, uh, I've already done a custom name tutorial, so I'm not going to focus on that too much, but I am going to go through the lore-based stuff in this part. So um, this first command right here is slash give at P, so we're giving an item to the nearest player we're then doing Minecraft colon diamond and then using the new syntax for data components in Minecraft, we're using square brackets right here and we're doing Minecraft custom name and we're setting a custom name to Draki's diamond, as you can see right there. And then we're doing comma. So we're adding a new component here, which is Minecraft colon law. So this is the law data component here. We're doing Minecraft colon law equals and then we are then using uh, square brackets right here. So we're using square brackets because it's a collection of line data. Because unlike the custom name, Minecraft law component can, can actually contain multiple lines of text. So as you can see here, we have multiple lines. So uh, this is the first line right here, which is the please like and subscribe. And then you've got the line two and line three, which are separate lines. Now, there's two different formats of this. You have this type right here, which is the simple type. So this is if you don't want to do any formatting on the text. So this is just using single quotes and double quotes with the text inside like that. Now, the other way is slightly more involved. This is a full on text data object. So we're using single quotes here with a like a text data tag inside so we've got text and then the text we want to display and then we're actually setting a color here so we're using a hexadecimal color code which sets it to red 
and that is the other way of doing it. So that's basically how it works. We're using a square bracket because it's a collection of data and you just specify each line separated by commas. So it's as simple as that. Law components are insanely easy. Now, the second command right here is summoning a Minecraft item that the player can pick up using relative coordinates that uh, places the item above the command block in my case. Now, we're using an item data tag here with ID Minecraft colon diamond. We're doing count as one, so it is one item. We are then setting the data components right here. So this stuff right here are all the data components, and this is exactly the same as the command above. So we've got the custom name with the custom name data, and then we've got the Minecraft law with the whole data collection we use above. So this is the exact same data collection we use above. And that is it. That's how you add law text to your custom items using commands and hopefully that helps you out in this area. All right, everyone, thank you for watching this video right here. If you did find this video useful and you liked the video, then a like and subscribe on the video would be very much appreciated and make sure that you hit notification bell so you're notified of any future videos here on the channel. And if you want to follow my socials, they're on screen and in the description. If the, and if there's any other videos you want me to do, so just general tutorials, command blocks, redstone, you name it, let me know and I may do it for a future video, like in this case right here. This law tutorial or this law component tutorial was because I saw it in the comments of my videos. So yeah, uh, stay happy and healthy, everyone. Hopefully you have fun with this and hopefully it helps you out and see you next time.